Recently, I made a video on top 15 CAD modeling software that are either available for completely free as a open source freeware or you may find their free hobbyist version or education version. And in this video, I am going to talk about not only talk, but we will see how we can download and install one of the most popular high end 3D parametric software known as Siemens NX. Hey there, everyone. My name is Preetam and you are watching Engineering Preetam. If you are new to this channel and like these kind of videos, then do consider subscribing to us. OK, so now let's talk about today's topic, which is how you can download and install latest and greatest Siemens NX in your system. Please mind it. This video is just for hobbyists. If you really want to use it for commercial purpose, then you should buy the commercial version. And then anyhow, this educational version of Siemens NX will not work with the commercial version. So make sure you do not use this for any commercial purpose. If you really want to do that, then do check out the video link that I'm going to attach in the description of this video. So without further ado, let's jump into our computer screen. OK, so here now you should be able to see my computer screen. Now, first thing what I'm going to do here is I'm going to press menu button and then I'm going to type EDGE, which is nothing but Microsoft as browser. Now, let me open Google. And then here, let's type download. Siemens NX and then I'm going to say student and there we go. So here we can see it says NX student edition free download. So let's click on it and then let's click here on this link which says try NX student. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on sign in with Google. And before that, again, I would like to caution you do not use for any commercial work because First of all, you will see watermark on all the printed and plotted data such that in this way, they're going to prevent the NX student edition from being used for commercial purpose. And if we talk about the download requirements, so here you can see you must be of age 15 or older and then you should have windows. So this in a way, sometimes I feel limitation about all major commercial software because they only support Windows. OK, so good thing here is I am also running Windows. So let's click here on sign in with Google. And then I'm going to select uh, my Google account here. Now, the next thing here we need to do is we need to select the country. So please select your country. Now it is saying company, I can write uh, student. Now here um, you need to enter your phone number. And now here seems like phone number is not mandatory. So you can keep it as it is. Now let's click here on submit. Now it says that you have successfully registered. Now after you see this screen, go back to your email and there you will see this email where you need to confirm your consent. So let me click here on confirm consent. And finally, here we can see our sign up is successful. Now, let me click here on software homepage so that we can download the software. OK, and here again, let me click on login. Now I'm going to use my same Google ID. And then here we need to provide additional information, for example, the university we have. Now here I can type my university name. and then the country and then I can submit it. Now I can go to software and products and then in mechanical design and then NX CAD. Now let's go below here where you will see option for student. Let's click here on learn more and now again I'm going to click on this download NX student edition. OK, now I'm going to click here on download your software. And if you face any problem reaching to this page, then there could be one obvious reason that your profile is not completed. In that case, click on user account 
and then click on profile all incomplete information especially that is listed as red after that click on save profile changes and then go to the same page and this time you should be able to see this support center from where you can download nx student edition now this is the file that I have set up so let's click on it and here we can see we have started downloading nx and the file size here we can see is around 8.8 .8 gigabyte so it may take some time based on your internet speed now we will wait for the download to get completed okay so we are about to download the package now okay so now let me open the package so let me quickly extract this package now and there we have it let's open it up and now let's run the setup so let's click on next and then i'm gonna keep the location as default location language as english and then click on install again we need to wait for a while okay so finally here we can see the installation is now completed so let's click here on finish now i am hoping that i do not need to do any further settings so let me click here on start and let's look for nx and there we go so let me run this nx for the first time let's agree to this terms and condition and there we go we are running nx for the first time in this system so let me quickly click on new and probably i'm gonna go with model now i'm gonna hit ok to get started and there we go so here we can see nx is successfully installed and let me quickly plot a sketch here let's also create some dimensions and finally here we can see we have created our first sketch let me quickly extrude it and let's give it certain value and there we go we have successfully created this small rectangle in our siemens nx that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please make sure you subscribe to engineering pritam to follow more such video and if you have got any questions or you know you want to share your experience please feel free to share your thoughts with us in comment down below and let's catch each other in one such another video till then you take care and bye bye